So first of all, every measure cell in the pivot table is, you can think of it as uh, a complete island unto itself. Um, the calculation of a particular number, particular uh, measure cell, value cell, in the pivot table is completely independent of all other cells. And then the second thing to know is that there is no math. It's not like when this process starts, the first thing it's doing is math. In fact, exactly the opposite. The math comes at the end and only at the end. The first thing that happens is the filters. Filters are applied first, then the math kicks in. Really important, let, let that sink in. It's always, always filters, then math, okay? Uh, can't emphasize that enough. Filters, then math. It's a two-step process. Those are, those are always true. Um, in every measure calculation, those are always true. Again, it's very mechanical, very step-by-step. -step. Um, and so the, the first step is we, uh, we or the, 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 pivot, um, the power pivot formula engine, picks a measure cell. And we, as humans on the outside of this, we have no idea which measure cell it picks first. We don't know if it starts from the top, the bottom, whatever. Um, and I, I honestly don't know. It doesn't matter because, again, because there, each cell is an island. It doesn't matter what order. Um, it doesn't matter what order the cells are are calculated behind the scenes. And then the second step is, the the power pivot engine detects what the what that particular cell, the currently selected cell, the, the one that we're uh, calculating right now, what are its coordinates in the pivot? And that cell that we've got highlighted has four separate coordinates in this pivot table. And that set of coordinates, uh, we have a name for that. And we call, it, we call that set of coordinates the filter context. And that, that term, filter context, might sound technical, and, uh, but really it's just uh, a convenience to call it the filter context. Uh, it's very clumsy to constantly be saying uh, the current set of coordinates from the, from the pivot. Uh, it's just easier to say filter context. So every time you hear or see the term filter context, just replace it in your head with the set of coordinates uh, from the pivot. These four tables, actually, well, these three, one, two, and three, are going to have a lot of their rows gone for the purposes of the calculation. Territories is not appearing in the filter context, so it, it has all of its rows standing. Okay, so there's one last step in the filter process. After the filters have been applied to the individual tables, those filters then flow downhill across relationships. And... So only the rows in the sales table that match up with uh, the rows that are left standing in the lookup tables uh, will also remain standing.